State guidelines allow private gatherings of up to three households. Fox 5's Eric Richards joining us live with the latest changes uh, the California's coronavirus response. What does that mean, Eric? Yeah, hey, good morning to you, Shelly. Good morning, everyone. I mean, this is pretty big considering the fact that we have not been able to really interact from uh, with different households in about seven months. So that's the big change here. And as you mentioned, yes, up to three households. That's the latest word. Let's go ahead and get you a video and show you some images from over the weekend because the new guidance actually taking effect over the weekend, specifically on Saturday. Now, these are some images from Mission Bay as some families did adjust to the new rules. So here's how it's all working. According to the new guidelines, gatherings must take place outdoors, especially at someone's home. People also need to stay at least six feet apart from non-household members and wear those face coverings. You should also not be attending if you feel sick or if you are in a high-risk group. Another specification, singing, chanting, and shouting, strongly discouraged. State health officials say these activities do increase the release of respiratory droplets and fine aerosol straight into the air. Now, we spoke with one woman over the weekend who used this opportunity to see some family. Here she is. We normally don't see each other a lot, and, well, we always miss each other. We're, like, very... You know, we have a good bond, all of us. They live really far. Like, we all live really far. So, yeah, we were really waiting to see each other today. Yeah, I'm back out live here at this park in Santee. The state's also asking for you to keep these personal gatherings short. Again, up to three households. Their recommendation, about two hours, maybe even less. We're live in Santee. We'll get it back to you. All right, Eric Richards, thank you.